The city of Virginia Beach was our family. Um, 24 years I grew up with the city of Virginia Beach and the mayor himself came to our house and promised us that we would be taken care of in perpetuity. They said that the statute of limitations began at the time of the crime, even though we didn't have a report until over two years after the crime. Um, the therapy was cut off before the statute of limitations and for the first two years we were waiting to receive some sort of settlement or check in the mail or, you know, offering from the city as has as had been promised to us. And instead, at the two year anniversary, they sent us coloring pages. And that's the point at which I realized, oh wow, they lied to us. It was a Friday. Um, I had had problems with my cell phone, called my mother a couple times. Um, then I got two random calls um, from a number I didn't recognize. Second time I picked up and there was a voice that said, there's been a shooting at the city and no one's heard from your mom. It was past midnight before investigators were able to tell me that she died instantly. My two children found out on the radio. So everyone in that building, almost 400 people knew my mom was dead and they made me wait in a cold cafeteria for hours um, before uh, someone came and said, you know, she didn't look like that when we found her, your mom is dead. I now have to live my life as a patient. Um, my excluding my children, I have to prioritize my mental health first. I have to attend therapy every single week. Even if I'm doing well and stable, I need to make sure that I stay on that track because the grief is so overwhelming. At any point, it could knock me over like a tsunami wave. And every time another massacre happens that I hear about in the media, I have to relive it. And I have to think of those people that are gonna have to go through the same things that I had to endure. Once you have lived it, you realize that the list of victims is so much longer than the deceased and the injured. It's also the survivors, the family, and everyone in the immediate community affected by the tragedy. The city of Virginia Beach was running the crisis center on actual napkins. From the jump, there was no organization. There was no clue of how we were going to recover, but we were given promises that we would be taken care of. It was that simple. VTV Care is an honest and reliable organization that is compassionate and understanding. Um, it was founded out of horrific tragedy and through that unity and through that service. And that's something to stand behind. That's something worth talking about.